lost fewer seats in the House of Representatives than the Democratic president's first midterm election in the last 40 years. Republicans are already conceding that a predicted red wave didn't materialize despite their party's gains in key House races. We not only won election, we have rewritten the political map. I got him the nomination. He didn't get it. I got it. We bet on the people of Pennsylvania, and you didn't let us down. And they're talking about a runoff. And I'm like, runoff? Four weeks from now, we will hear from the people of Georgia. Democratic Senator Raphael Warnock and Republican challenger Herschel Walker are headed for a runoff after each failed to get a general election majority. Welcome to Red and Blue. More elections to come, I guess. I'm Caitlin Huey Burns coming to you from our Washington, D.C. Bureau. Thank you for joining us. So President Biden just delivered remarks about the midterm election results and said it was a good day for democracy. Our democracy has been tested in recent years, but uh, with their votes, uh, the American people have spoken and proven once again that democracy is who we are. The states across the country uh, saw a record voter turnout. And the heart and soul of our democracy, the voters, the poll workers, the election officials, uh, they uh, did their job uh, and they fulfilled their duty, and apparently without much uh, interference at all.